What's up guys, Johnny here with Team Legit. We got the whole crew out today. We brought a bunch of long range planes. We got a lot of uh, different activities going on. We're gonna try some long range with some quads and things like that. Uh, the main purpose of this trip today was one, to have fun, and two, to test out uh, a new product that we might be carrying. This is gonna be the actual test for it. Usually we tell you about it after we've done testing. This is the new Spec UAV 1280, 1258, you, uh, antenna video antenna and uh, our goal today is to see if we can push this antenna 20 miles with the uh, pepper box antenna uh, a couple days ago I brought you guys a video uh, of a multi-star rant that uh, the batteries that were intended to use for this weekend just didn't hold up so we got a huge gigantic cheese block uh, or block of cheese from ready-made RC this is a 10,000 milliamp battery and we're gonna use that battery to power this plane with these antennas but we're gonna try to hit those mountains out there uh, try to catch those snow capped mountains anybody picking up any video? I have video of mine Why? so you think you had a uh, aileron servo that just went kaput? crapped out yeah because everything else seems to be working Anybody watching this video right now, just so you know, this is not a military aircraft. It's just a hobbyist. So if you do find this, please call It's not a drone. It's not going to blow up. It's not going to do anything. Just call that number and you'll be handsomely rewarded. Let's we get the show. In peace. We fly in peace. Always nice to get a one last picture of the airplane. No, no, no. no. We uh, ran into a little snag, we had a bad servo, we swapped it out, did a quick team legit field repair with the 4S glue gun, and now we're ready to rock and roll. Alright, DVRs are rolling. DVRs are rolling. Wait, do I have to take off? You're taking off, yeah. Once you take off, just start flying straight out towards those uh, snow peaks. Alright, we're going for 20 miles today. Oh, nice. Alright, Ethan. Shut up. Sit. You recording? Yeah. Shut up. Battery's fully charged. Battery's fully charged. Top spinning the right way. All right, here we go. <laughs> Good. Oh, yeah. Does it feel more sluggish? Yeah, it does. Feel more sluggish? All right, hold that heading and that uh, trajectory. Go to the right a little bit. Yeah, go to the right a little bit. Head towards those snow capped mountains and hold that heading. So we're gonna hold heading. Yeah, keep the dog on the tie down because I don't want him to knock anything over. Uh, keep heading. The dog is after it. Oh, no, that's a great shot. That's a great shot. All right. All right. Keep, yeah, keep heading to your right. Two twenty. Or two forty is good too. Two forty. Okay. Just right there. Two thirty. Just lock it in at two thirty. I'm gonna put you on uh, PA mode. Just start climbing. Or you fly it manually, just start climbing. Oh, you know what we need to do? We need to set fail safes. <laughs> That's fine, it's all done by the radio. Uh, After we're a mile keep out. flying. Yeah. Fail safes are set. The gimbal is still locked. You're still RSSI, it's still 100, dude. <laughs> Yagi! <laughs> Sister Miyagi! Alright. That's amazing. Once you get up to about 15,000 feet, 15, I mean, 15, sorry, 15, sorry. 15, sorry. <laughs> once you get up to 10,000 feet, cut back on the throttle and just. 1,000 feet? Yeah, like 10,000. Let's go 10,000 feet. 10,000 feet high? Yeah, we're going to need it for 20 miles out. <laughs> Trust me. All right. This guy's crazy. Ethan, if you can climb and cut back on the throttle a little bit, just to save some juice. Yeah, climbing to 10,000 feet is going to kill the battery, dude. You're going to have to, you're using so much amps to pull up there. It's okay. Just get a nice gentle cruise. Just make sure you're uh, continually gaining altitude. You don't need to be gaining 10 feet at a time, 10 feet per second. So bring it up to like three feet per second and just bring back on the amps. So Ethan, how's the uh, Sky Hunter handling? That's pretty good. <laughs> trying, uh, the Is it handling pretty well? Are you sure you guys want to keep Hands off, you guys want to pull eight amps? Amps? Watching a TV oh, screen or something oh, flying man. away from it's us. It's all about looking at the numbers. You could just turn the video oh, off Lord. and watch the numbers. Yeah, yeah, it's, exciting. it's true, like the yeah. video is like... We don't even pay attention. Yeah. Oh no, that's the California aqueduct. Oh yeah, oh, what's wrong with this video? Me and ridden down the aqueduct before. Yeah, that's the aqueduct. Get over this way. Okay. Are you serious? Yeah, move that one to the right a little bit. Yeah. Which direction are you wow, going? Amazing. That oh, look at oh, that wow. video. Mm. That oh, that's so nice. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that ready made RC like, logo. Hey, 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 Johnny, you should level out right yeah. at 5,280. So it'll be exactly one mile up. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, we're heading 190. That is a so bitchin' cool. picture. Yeah. Look at that. Great. Holy shit, dude. Yeah, you are out there. 70,000 feet. We're coming up to that peak. 
uh, right now the antenna's pointing at the same heading that we're heading, so we're straight out. Oh yeah, there's the freaking peak right there. So that's the other peak to the right. Funny. This is oh. the main peak. Okay. All right, what's that uh, 22 whatever thing on the top says 22 even? We're gonna turn back. What are you looking at at the, the top? The top left, the total distance traveled. Oh, okay. I think you should come hmm. back now. I think you made it. What what uh, video transmitter do you have? Uh, 1500 milliwatt. Oh, okay. 1500, man, that shit's punching. Yeah, it is, it's pungent. Yeah. All right, 0.3 miles left, we're turning back, bitches. Here we go, leveling off. I'm gonna power into this turn. Yeah, power into it. Don't make my mistake. Nice. Look at that. Gorgeous, dude. Oh. oh. Get me, Timmy. Get me. I got you. You're good. We're fine. We got that headwind. Now we're directly into a headwind. Oh, that's nasty. Timmy, 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 get me. Three. Timmy, get me. Whoa. Whoa. Get that PA. Yeah, it's in PA. You're going the wrong way. I know, I'm trying to turn. The headwind is just terrible. Somebody get out their phone and start punching in the GPS coordinates. Yeah. Oh, man, that's beautiful. Oh. oh, what's going on? Oh, you know what's wrong? What? PA doesn't know where home is. No, not PA. RTH? The RTH, oh, yeah. Yeah, because it's at 999. Yeah, shit. Okay, so let's just. Let's start, yeah, that's a lake bed right there. On, I would put it back that's on manual. Weird. Wait, honey. take your heading. It was one yeah, nine. Put it back on manual, out. Johnny. What was the heading going out? If I you don't could remember. just get like uh... back to the valley. Yeah, that's where I'm headed right now. Just watch my video, Timmy. Yeah, I got you. The no. sucky thing about this no, situation homie. is that at this speed, it's gonna take you an hour to get back here. That's an actual marshal. Wow, that's pretty crazy. It's only going 20. It's only going 30. Well, I think once I get away from these slopes, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, you'll see yeah, again. And their 30 mile run. What did they fly? Yeah, but they flew one X8. way 30 miles, right? Yeah. No, they flew 15 out, 15 back. Oh. oh. Mm. Is this a world record? Yeah. 40. Yeah. Yeah. No, this is a world record, but it's <laughs> definitely is, It's California definitely a, probably a SoCal record if yeah. we can get it back. Yeah, the yeah, actual the actual world first. record Keep is flying, like 50 something miles, but it was one way. Excuse me, Timmy. Sorry. Trying my best. Go to the right a little bit. There, you're getting it. Go you're down. Oh, oh. No, let him, let him do it. He can see it. Yeah. I'm sure Edwards is is watching this. They probably are. They probably be like, damn, these guys are actually pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> there we you got me, Timmy. I'm trying. I, it's, it's not. I don't know what's happening, man. It was so good, it just went. Or, yeah. Oh, locked in. They were, something's jamming. Do you yeah, I'm jamming. <laughs> got my beer in. Yes, you can. Um, do they deliver a pizza out here? What? Thank you. Wait, who uh, brought beer? Pete did. Pete did. I would love a beer. Pete, can uh, I have some water too, please? please? My top, mouth please. is really dry from this flight. Mm. Can I have a Red Bull, Pete? Sure. I'm fucking working hard over here. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Slow and steady wins the race or give it some power and just I don't know. slow and steady wins the race? 7,000 milliamps. Out of a 10,000 pack. Johnny, you want to land it? No, why? You're not going to make it back here. No, hey, well. Far away. You only have 2,000 milliamps left. <laughs> That's truth. Shut up, Tim. Out. Where's the amp hours burning? Out. Like out on the runway. Look, look at that wind. Look at that headwind. Yeah. Oh, you missed it. My my ground speed dropped to like five miles per hour. It's just getting worse too. All right, we got to make a decision, left or right. 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 Right into the wind. I think you should have landed on that road right down there. All right, current target, Tim, is that uh, whatever field. that structure is right in okay. front of us. Okay, good call. That'll give us something to find that map. Whoa, whoa. That was a big gust. Yeah, I think you should start bringing it down now. I think the lower I get, the shittier the air gets. Obviously. Yeah, but you think? you're going to need at least power. So we can... No, I'm going to I'm gonna milk it as close as possible. Okay. Coming up on 20 volts. Under load. Oh, yeah. 68, Drop a for a second. I can't, look how slow it's yeah, going. Yeah, I want to get some, uh, I'm just going to keep pushing it. Alright. 3.36. So. Okay. Uh, Let's that battery's performing up the bar. Let's. Uh, yeah, it's actually doing really well. Yeah. And I, I tried to cycle it, but my charger yeah. wouldn't discharge it fast enough. <laughs> Alright. 
guys, let's uh, talk about a trajectory of landing. And then you should go right for that road that we're looking at. The one straight in front of us, the yeah, wider, the there's a second one. one. Okay, so here's here's what we're looking at GPS wise. Planet with somebody else. Sorry. <laughs> I think we should land along the well, farther road. Hold on. I would see if you can jump. Yeah, put it on this road right here. Is that a good road? That's a perfect road because it's really easy to get to. Yeah, voltage is sagging. Look at that. Dropped from 20 to 18. You are at 10,000 milliamps. Oh, shit. All right. Nine, 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 nine. Touch your battery, dude. Let's do, uh, well, yeah, that's battery. Let's done. not touch this battery, dude. Yeah, all right, Tim, get ready to like lock on that video, guys. All right, here we go. Take snapshots as we go. Yeah. All right. We're going for emergency landing. So I would shoot for right in this area, right where this T is at. Because okay. it'd be an easier spot to figure out where it's at. Well, we don't have a lot of choices. I think we're going down where we're at right now. Do you want me to adjust the control? Because your SSI has dropped. Yeah, yeah we're going to just swing it to the to the right, to the right a little bit. 750. If this thing pops into return to home, we're kind of screwed. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. Is that better? Oh, yeah, uh, lift it up. Just point the nose up, right? Point it down. Right there is good. Just hold Sorry, it right put there. it in high power mode. Yeah, dude, you're almost there. Someone stay on that Yagi. Uh. All right, Timmy. I'm gonna lose video in a second. When I do that, I'm gonna click it into PA mode and just, just put it down that in that shit field. Up over your head. Yeah, great. I'm gonna put it in that field. Here, let me help you too. No, 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 it's Josh, good. Just leave it right now. Just we're leave good, it. We're good. We're good. Just leave it. Leave it until. All right, final approach coming okay, in. It's coming down. Here, I'm gonna unbag the. No, it's fine. It's totally clear. You got it. Yeah. Still at uh, 665, no, 665 right? feet of I'm where we're at. Yeah. 665 feet. I'm gonna put it right at that intersection. Let me, let me grab the other side of it and help okay. you. Perfect. It's still perfect. Yeah. So we're not gonna. Ah, come on, headwind. Gliding in. Oh man. Oh. Losing it. No, it's good. Oh, really? that's yeah, perfect. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, like, it's still perfect ride. video. It's perfect. Good, it's good. It's perfect right now. Stop moving it, Sorry. dude. Josh, you know where that intersection is? Is that a power line? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Which way is it going? I'm, I'm right no, over the right. power line. It's, running, it's, it's on the left yeah, side of the road. Johnny, but just put it right down. You stay on the right side of the road, you're good. Yeah, you got a good line. Yeah, you're fine. Oh, dude, oh, plenty, plenty. Line. Shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. Oh, oh, what the oh, f oh, It's not going down. There's no signal. I lost, I lost oh, it. Oh! oh, oh it's in RTA. Oh, it's, oh, what happened? Oh, all right, well, the plane's down. Do you think it hung up on the lines? <laughs> Tim, lift that up. <laughs> Did it make it to the ground? Slide your hand down to the leg. Oh, shit. Did it make it to the ground? Yeah, I saw the ground. You hit the line for sure. All right, let's go. Operation recovery. All right. Uh, Who's got the GPS yeah. coordinates in their phone? All right, guys, so here's the scoop. We did it again. <laughs> we did it again. We didn't make it home. Um, we had a servo failure, which pushed us back time-wise, and the Santa Ana's kicked up wicked today. So we didn't quite make it home. Um, we're still quite a few. I don't know, probably five or six miles yeah, away. Six. That thing went into return to home. And, well, no, it went into return to home because we were 20 feet off the deck, at six miles out. Hey, I Dragon Link, though. Dragon Link, Dragon Link, man, did job today. 22 miles out. It was perfect. Dragon Link paired with Mr. Miyagi. Yeah, I did his job. Those are the power lines, guys. It's not looking good. Um, with the capabilities of all this stuff right now, you saw Dragon Link, you saw the video right now. We flew 22 miles out. Uh, to get to the stratosphere, to the early parts of the stratosphere, is only about 18 miles. Mm -hmm. So I think with the equipment that we have, it, it can totally be, right be done. Yep, I think this is it. This is the power lines that we ran into. Your destination oh, is on the right. Does anyone see a fire? <laughs> yeah, no fires. Oh, look left. You guys uh, look right. Yeah, I see foam, but uh, uh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Oh there it is. There it is. Oh my gosh. Oh. She's a little rough. It's definitely questionable. Still making noise. She's making noises. Can I have this mark? It's actually not too bad. Yeah. It did hit the wires, and it must have just clipped them and dropped straight down. Where's the lotus? Oh my oh, goodness. Broke off. Oh. Sheer, you know what? That's what happened. Yeah, oh, stepping it on it. Oh, I think yes. I stepped on it. So I'm it sorry, man. I didn't see it. stepped on it. <laughs> I remember it pitched up at the end, so it must have caught the antenna on those power lines. 
Too bad you weren't a better pilot and go under Do it. That's important consumer <laughs> advice. How strong is the this antenna is, after you bend it back into shape? Dude, this thing is like really good shape. I bet you. Because I just bent my antenna. I tried to bend it back and it broke as soon as I tried to bend it. Back. Everything looks actually pretty good. I mean, Johnny, stop trying to be optimistic. <laughs> no, I'm saying like, I mean, it's all just foam. I mean, it's all like repairable. It's all give to Josh and he can build a long range plane for himself. Is this like Flight of the Phoenix? Can you build a single boom plane out of the remnants of the, of the twin boom plane? It's not, look, it's all clean brakes. We're gonna do this again. Wait, are you actually gonna pull the new sky under? Yeah. All right. I'm down. Is there is there a much more efficient plane? No. Okay. Sky Hunter is it. Sky Hunter is the way to go. All right, we got goals. You're talking to a fanboy. You can't you can't talk I to Ethan Sky about Hunter this. I am a fanboy by far. Really? By noon. By 11:30 noon, and we've got Santa Ana's this this uh, week yeah. too. Today it was. Uh, I looked at my watch. I think it was 10:20 when the first big gust hit us. So. And yeah. we were already clear across over there. If you if you had about it in 10 the air. An hour earlier, when you know, that would have been a success. Yeah, I guess I'm saying like you don't need to be four hours earlier. You just got to be. We got to be in the early. air by eight o'clock. Oh, okay. I think. This is our second I think attempt at really long range. The setup that I have right now, forty-four total miles is easily doable. Without right. the wind. You yeah, because need... we were only uh, five miles shy. I know. And most of the the fifteen miles coming or the twelve miles coming back, it's just headwind. All right, well, moral of the cool. story is plan, plan, plan. And if you haven't planned enough, plan some more. Because that poor planning. Plan a lot, and maybe you'll only have to do it twice. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, guys? Johnny here with Team Legit. Today, we're going to talk about long-range flights. We're going to talk about equipment needed, equipment used, and also a couple tips and tricks. We're also going to talk about planning long-range flights. Now, long-range flights might mean different things to different people. Some people may consider a mile long range, two miles long range, 5, 10, 20, 30 miles, so on. So we're going to talk about different equipment that we use. We're going to talk about uh, different components that uh, we require. We're going to talk about efficiency. We're going to talk about um, safety. And also we're going to talk about planning. Planning a long range flight is very important. You don't want to just slap a bunch of stuff together, throw it up in the air and hope it works. You want to make sure you get your craft back successfully. So uh, this, this episode will cover long range flights and different uh, components needed for that flight. So stay tuned.